Uh, let me get my podium here. I got a little message I want to share with you. Check out the people outside down there. They got some good stuff. Everybody get full today. Yeah. Everybody eat your hot dogs and get full. We got a little dessert we want to give you down. Yeah. A little message. Ain't gonna take but a few minutes. I want to talk to you. Let me get everybody to come into and have a seat here. Everybody, come on in here. Y'all come in. I want you to have a seat. I want you to listen to the message that we got today because it's really important that you hear this. to you today about living by the power of the Spirit. Living by the power of the Spirit. Got a group coming. Well, let's wait on them to get here. Everybody needs to hear this. This is a great message God has given me. And uh, in the ways of the world. Yes, it is. It's easy for the devil to trick you and blind you where you think things look good. Most people don't even know nothing about spirit-filled lives. They just walk around out here one day at a time. They don't go to church and they don't know nothing about the Lord. That's when the devil has a field day with you. He thinks of, just like a man fishing, he'll throw it out there and hook you and he'll just put you on cash, let you run, run. He don't have to worry about you. That's right. And he'll let you run and he worries about other people. A lot of people, when they get saved, a lot of bad things start happening. That's because the devil don't want to lose you. Come on, preacher. He wants to keep you doing the same thing you're doing now. And when you get saved, he wants to drag you back into the same old person. But you've got to figure out how the devil attacks your life. What he does, what he uses. And let me tell you something. This junk music that he, that's on the radio now, the devil was a praise and worship leader in heaven right, before he was right. kicked out. He yeah. can cast spells on you through music. And I'm telling you, if you listen to that junk, it will put bad things in your life. He can do anything. Hey, listen. You are no match for the devil. Amen. You are no match for the devil. But when you get a spirit-filled life, you start producing fruits of the spirit. What are the fruits of the spirit? Peace, love, peace, joy, love, happiness, faithfulness, patience, self-control. When you, when the devil takes that self-control from you, you can't say no. When you got your self-control, you can say, no, I don't live like that no more. I serve Jesus Christ. Now. I want to I read a scripture to you. It's in Galatians uh, 5, verse 16. So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your life, then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite from what the Spirit wants. Listen to me. We have got a battlefield in our mind. You got the good, you got a bad. Old devil will shoot a dirty thought at your mind. If you run with it, it ain't got enough spirit in your life, you can't fight it. You no match for it. But if you got enough spirit in your life that outweighs the flesh, hey, you can't be defeated. The Bible says there's no weapon can, can, can touch you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That's right. You can do it. And people don't believe that. Some people go, well, I just don't know if that's true. That's a fairy tale. Let me tell you something. This is a living word of God. This right. book lives. Amen. 
And if you can't get into it and read it and apply it to your life, your life ain't never going to accomplish to nothing. Because I've tried everything. Thought I was this, thought I was that, thought I had money, thought I had this going on, thought I had that going on. Really, I was a loser. The day I got saved on July the 1st, 2008, was the day my life started. That's right. I'm 52 years old today, and I'm happier now than I've ever been in my life. Because you know why? Jesus Christ lives in my heart. But anyway, which is just the option from what you're sinful, from what the Spirit. And the Spirit gives us desires that are opposite from what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other. Good and bad, good and bad, good and bad. Jesus and the devil are always fighting each other. And it's going to be there till the day that Jesus comes back. That's right. One day he's going to come and there's going to be no more. There's going to be no more trouble, no more depression, no more pain, no more suffering, no more sorrow. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free from carrying out your good intentions. But when you are directed by the Spirit, you are not under obligations of the law of Moses. When you follow the desires of your sinful natures, these are the results. The results are very clear. Sexual immorality. This is the things of the world now. This is the things that your body, your fleshly desires crave. Sexual immorality, impure thoughts, lustful, pleasure, adult, adultery. That's when you worship your motorcycle or your house or something else more than you do God and your children. Let me tell you something. God comes first. He don't come second to nobody. He comes for your wife, your children, or anything. Hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outburst of anger, self, self ambition, division, enviness, drunkenness, wild parties, and other kind of sins. Let me tell you again, like I have before, that anyone living this sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. But when the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives, joy, Love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against the, these things. These who belong to Jesus Christ have nailed their passion and desires and sinful natures to the cross and crucified them there. People, you got a free will in life. I had 32 years of my life robbed and stolen from me from, from the devil. Because he tricked me and he blinded me. And I was out here doing wild things, stupid stuff. Talk, talk, Andy, you know what we done. What, if we thought we had something going on. We really was losing. Right. But if you want a good, clean life, a good, fun life where you can have fun, peace, and just... Just be happy, just like today. We've come down here, we've sat, we've had hot dogs, we had singing. Hey man, what can you ask for? There's nothing no better. There's nothing no better than serving Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ died on the cross, and He sent me here today to tell each and every one of you. It's here today. I want to look at you in your eyes and tell you that Jesus Christ loves you. That's right. He sent me here today to tell you He loves you and He's standing here today with open arms. Yes, yes He is. He is here right now in the midst of two or more gathered. He's in the midst. Amen. And He's here at this place today. And if there's anybody here with hurts, habits, and hang-ups, this ain't a show. This is a praise and worship today. And this is a thing for people to come and change their lives. Let me tell you something. The 12-step program don't it never work for me. There's one step. That's right. That's a one-on-one -on -one personal relationship with God. That's it. If you ain't got that, you need it. Yeah. Come on. Come on, man. If you can get that, all you got to do is, is just believe. And if you don't know how to step out in faith and walk up here and pray or stand up where you at and raise your hand, just stand up and raise your hand and we'll come to you and lead you through the prayer of salvation. 
and it will change your life. God is good all the time, even when you sleep, and He's got a plan for you when you wake up. And He loves you. And He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. You know, I, I, I got robbed, like I tell you, I got robbed 32 years of my life. I thought I was somebody. And I, I just, I was a loser. And I see so many of my friends, and everybody here's got friends that's lost, that's going to hell. And I'm going to tell you something. We, can, we as Christians should stand up together and do these kind of things more often outside when people are riding by wondering, what are they doing? Come on. Hey. I, I want them to feel the Holy Spirit when they ride by us so they want to pull in and get out. Right. We'll feed them a free hot dog. We'll feed them a, some free word. And we'll also give them love. Because let me tell you something, God is love. Yes, is. And if we, you can't beat people in the head with a Bible Come on. to get them right because you'll just send them off further. But if you love them through it and preach to them and tell them how much God loves them, and feed them and be friends, they'll finally one day you'll see them on their knees. That's right. And that's the way that's the way laborers will feel now when we handle things. We get bashed on a lot. I tell people that. But I'm gonna tell you something, they ain't a better church than laborers will feel because they get this where the rubber meets the road. And I just want you to know that God loves you. I'm gonna tell you again, God loves you, and you got a you got a free will. God made you with a free will. He ain't going to twist your arm and make you serve him. He's going to let you either decide whether where do you want to go, heaven or hell. I want to ask you one question. We're going to close out on this. If the Lord come today or you died on your way home, where would you go? Come on, come on. I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that as the rest of the day. I'm going to close out in prayer. If anybody here has any kind of hurt, habit, or hang-up, or you lost, and you just don't feel like, I'm sure, I don't know, I, I, I think I am, but I'm really not sure that I'm going to heaven. I want you to come to me today because I want to talk to you. I really want you to, hey, I want to know, if I, if he come right now, that red truck sitting right over there, you can take it home with you because I'm gone. I'm not scared of death no more because if I die, I'm going to heaven. Amen. I'm not perfect today, but let me tell you something. If I could be, if people could get saved and be perfect, Jesus wouldn't have to die on the cross for our sins. We all got things, but if you're a Christian, if you are a Christian and you do something wrong, it's going to bother you so bad that you can't stand it. You're going to have to repent. That's right. You're going to have to walk off somewhere and cry and repent and say, God, it. <laughs> I messed up, Lord, and I just pray, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Help me not to do that again. But if you do something and it don't bother you, you better check yourself That's because right. you ain't where you should be. Amen. And I just want to thank you for coming out today and being a part of what we're doing here. And we're trying to see men and women change their lives through the love of Jesus Christ. That's, that's what our ministry is about. Hang on one second. And, uh, I just want I just want you to know if you, if, if you don't have a home church, we got a church here in Iowa, please come down and see us. Please come down and check us out. Come down and check it out for yourself, because I promise you, you'll love it. We got a we got a men's ministry. Uh what you got? I just want to tell them about this, Tiffany. <laughs> y'all, I'm no I'm no ways from perfect. I'm a long ways from it, but I want to tell y'all about this. Than, than burning did because it really got to my heart last night. Thank y'all. They call that the halls of hell. And if you had to be in the day's the last day, I think it's six o'clock. You need to go. We're going tonight. But anyway, if you lost and if you didn't answer that question that I just asked you, you need prayer today. You need to step out and you get things right with God because. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And without Him, you ain't going to make it. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. 
Please listen to me. You're not going to make it without Jesus Christ living in your heart. I'm going I'm to close this thing out in prayer. I want everybody to know we love you. We thank you for coming out and being a part of what we're doing here. God bless you. Father, we come to you today, Lord, with a humble heart. And Lord, I thank you for all the people that's here, Lord. Lord, I pray that if there's anyone here lost, that the, the day will be their day of salvation. Yes. Lord, I pray that if anybody here has hurts, habits, and hang-ups, the day will be the day that you break those chains of bondages in their life. Father, we love you today. We thank you for the singers that come out. Lord, I pray for Tommy and as they sing, the Parker family, as they sing, stepping out in faith. And Lord, I just... I just love you today, Lord. And I know we was uplift your name. That's what we're here to do. And Father, we thank you for allowing us to come to Iowa and, and, and uh, having our fall festival. Father, we give you all the praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.